there it goes. Coach, tell me, you had a big win tonight. A big comeback win. Well, uh, the first half, I didn't think we played bad. I just thought Lincoln shot the ball extremely well. I think they were 12 to 17 from the three-point line. And, uh, for the most part, I think we gave up a lot of open shots in the first half. Um, I think we put up like 35 points in the first half, so we didn't play bad. We played solid, and I just told the guys to stay consistent in what we were doing. Um, did you do anything differently, or what did you change at halftime to defend against a three-pointer? Um, we just got back to the basics. Um, the guys uh, started talking and communicating um, and rotating to the shooters. Um, I don't think they shot the ball as well in the second half, so that helped us kind of chip away at the lead. And anytime you chip away at a big lead, you know the rim gets tighter, and you know guys start to try to make hero plays, is what we call it. So. How much were you holding your breath when number four for them went to the free throw line for three free throws? And he's a pretty good player. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've, I watched him over the last few years as a coach, and you know, I was surprised that he missed all three. Um, did he miss three? That he missed the first two, I was really surprised. Um, but like I said, you know, the rim got tight. Uh, we were in the lead, so we um, kind of shifted the pressure on him. Yeah. You know, it's tough to make those shots uh, at the end of the game like that. You feel this win will get you all over the hump that you've been trying to get over for the past couple well, of games? You know, this, you know, when we play with that type of energy, um, you know, anything is possible. I thought we played up to our potential. I thought we played up to our potential in the second half. And, um, that's indicative of, of the team that we have, and we just have to continue to do that. All right, thanks. <laughs>